Now you can take Chatty Cathy with you. Be a kid again. So few black arts. Just me own special breakfast. Listen, y'all don't understand. In New Orleans, this story of Kendrick performing at, at, at a Super Bowl in New Orleans, and instead of Lil Wayne, has been the just the biggest story like motherfuckers are losing their mind behind oh, yeah. that shit and i and monty and i have not talked about this yet so i'm very curious to pick his brain and hear from everybody in the live chat and see what y'all think about this. i have mixed feelings about this i have i i definitely have mixed feelings about yeah. this. right now yeah. i have one feeling about it maybe you'll change my mind uh yeah I, I i think i can make a case to change your mind but i don't necessarily know if i should change your mind yeah yeah because look look i'm i'm I just want to say this before we go too deep in this. I fucking love Wayne. Mm -hmm. Love Wayne. Like, love, love, love Wayne. Like, constantly in my headphones, my number one is a battle between Wayne and them all the time. Love Lil Wayne. Okay. So, I'm, I'm, I'm not angry that he didn't get, get invited. Yeah, it's in New Orleans, but it's the fucking Super Bowl. I I I've never known the Super Bowl for scooping up local talent for every Super Bowl. That that is a, a quality case to be made right there. Is that like when the Super Bowl is booking talent, it is not a known thing for them to book local talent to perform at the Super Bowl. Yeah, you know, but up until recently, the Super Bowl. Never had rappers perform there, right? Yeah. As the as the headline act, that is a very new phenomenon, thanks to Jay Z, right? Yeah. Where rappers are performing at the Super Bowl. Dr. Dre was the first, and yeah. right now the only. Kendrick is going to be the second, and the question becomes: If this is the second time in Super Bowl history yeah. that they are going to allow a rap act to perform. Who is the rap act that should get that spot? And that conversation gets very tricky, right? Okay, if yeah, I can see where the, you're you There's, look at the there's list so of many rappers, different ways to qualify. Who should get that? Yeah, no, yeah. So because many that, ways. Like, yeah, because there, there are like, if you look at the list of, okay, I, I regularly have conversations with people about who they feel like the top 10 rappers, or top five rappers of all time, right? And... In, in that list, when I'm talking to people, there are about 10 names that typically pop up. One of these names typically pops up on everybody's list, right? Yeah. Not always, you know, but most, like, I've had this conversation with so many people for over so many years, and if you look at all the rap lists, typically one of these 10 names is in the top 10, right? In no particular order, Tupac, Biggie, Jay-Z, Nas, Eminem, Outkast, Lil Wayne, Drake, Kanye West, right? Yeah. All on that list. Rock Kim is on that list. Typically, Ice Cube will be on that list. You might see, you might see Snoop Dogg on that list, so yeah. from time to time. Kendrick has forced his way onto that list, right? Yeah. And sometimes Scarface is on that list. Yeah. And that's and that is typically what like usually one of those picks ends up on everybody's in everybody's top ten. Yeah. Like most people's, I mean, top five has one of those people on the list. And when yeah. you go through those people and you remove the people that have died and you remove the people that have already performed there. Yeah. Right. And you look at who's left. Right. The people that make the most sense. Like you can't put Kanye up there because he's going to say something crazy about the Jews. Right. Yeah. Okay. Like, like Kanye West is a motherfucking loose cannon. Yeah. He's gone. So, so that basically leaves, like, you know, Nas doesn't have enough hits to be able to perform at the Super Bowl. Yeah. Right? So then that leaves you with, like, so the, the people that make the most sense left, left over that haven't performed there is Lil Wayne and Drake. Yeah. So I can understand how people, like, how there are people that feel like Lil Wayne should get that spot. I totally understand yeah the logic on how they get there. And when you factor in the Super Bowl is in New Orleans. Lil, like, like this is a fact. Lil yeah. Wayne has more hits than Kendrick Lamar. 
Yes, yes, it is a fact. But yeah, like no, that 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 fact alone does not mean he should get the spot. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. Lil Wayne also has a lot of songs about fucking bitches and doing drugs. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even think like, that's the thing that factors in. I think what factors in now is 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 that Jay Z Ken- don't like Lil Wayne? No, no. Kendrick got this because you can't walk out your front door without here not like us right now. Kendrick is everywhere right now. Yeah. Super Bowl is 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 money, 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 money. Mm-hmm. And you walk out and you just hear the money and you go, Oh, he's got other hits we can use. The math is there. The math maths. I you know what? I'm I'm pushing back against that a little bit. That's right? the easy and, and look, I I am a Kendrick fan. I fuck with Kendrick Heavy. Like Kendrick Lamar is having the best year ever, right? They not like like the beef with him and and like they not like us is still a top ten song in the country. It's like it's a top five song in the country, uh, and I think uh, uh, um, the uh, the. Uh, uh, like that with him and Future yeah. is a, a top 15, a top 20 song in the country still now after being out for months. These guys have run the fucking Kendrick Lamar is having the best year ever for a rapper. The last time we seen a rapper have a year like this, it was Drake. OK, yeah. this man is having the best year ever. But if you look at his body of work and yeah. you look at past Super Bowl performances. Yeah. It is a curious choice. Like, could you imagine if every year the person that they elected to perform at the Super Bowl was the person that had the best year that year? Could you imagine RK Fire performing at the Super Bowl? Yeah. Right? One song that everybody knows and then a bunch of just a bunch of tambourines and fucking banjo music. Don't nobody want that. Could you imagine if 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 Billie Eilish got the Super Bowl at, at, at the prime of her career? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like she didn't have like there are lots of people that had a great year that should not perform at the Super Bowl. Yeah, but you know? Kendrick has so had a, other a hits, great though. a great year alone. Yeah, should yeah. not fact should should not be the end all be all. No, that's I, I don't think that's the reason. I think that that factored in. Mm-hmm. I think that factored in when you look. Where's the money? The money's mm-hmm. with him. Can he support this? And yes, he can. And also, when you factor in that Jay Z and Lil Wayne have had beef with each other for some years now, yeah, right, yeah, that is like so. It, there, there's also kind of like a bit of a balance in that. And then for the people that are saying that it should definitely be Lil Wayne, right? I also want to push back on this just a little bit, right? Yeah, I'm not talking about Lil Wayne the artist. I want to talk about Lil Wayne, the nigga that's not a Saints fan. Okay, because he is not a motherfucking New Orleans Saints fan at all. And it's weird to me watching so many people from New Orleans champion him when he don't champion us. Like he's not a fan of the Saints. He don't like the Saints. Y'all sitting out there fighting for him and I I this you know, and also not for nothing the nigga voted for Trump. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying, I'm just, like that like I, I can understand the pushback. I can understand why he should have the spot. And I can understand the arguments on why he shouldn't have the spot. I'm saying if you were making an argument for a rapper that has earned that that should be next in line to get that offer, you can make a better case for Wayne getting that spot over Kendrick Lamar. Okay. You know, but Kendrick is having the best year ever, and Kendrick is gonna put on a fucking show. Yeah. And, and that's, like, that's and, the and, thing. And, like and, that's and, also, like people, I've made heard people make the argument that, like, oh, if you look at Lil Wayne's music, his body of work is gonna offend a lot of white people. Kendrick Lamar is about to perform at the Super Bowl. He about to offend a lot of white people. Yeah, yeah. Wayne is not gonna offend a lot of white people. I promise you. Oh, Wayne, yes, he I, would. A good chunk of Wayne's fans are white. <laughs> yeah, but like everybody that watches, everybody that's white that watches the Super Bowl is not a Lil Wayne fan. Like these are the same people that raged against the Super Bowl nipple. Okay. True. Yeah, these are the True. these are the same people that saw Colin Kaepernick take a knee. Like he had taken three knees, and by the fourth one, they was like, you know what? I've decided I'm offended by this now. <laughs> yeah, they were they were offended by a guy taking a knee silently, you know, uh, uh, silently protesting. Like yeah. his mouth was closed, and he whispered into the grass, "I feel oppressed." Yeah. And they was like, "Fuck that nigga! Get him out the league!" Yeah. Okay, 
and you're telling me those people won't be offended by Lil Wayne, I wish I could fuck every girl in the world. Good point. Good point. Yeah. Good That's point. what I'm saying. Like, this is a, this is a multi-layered argument. It is. It is. There's so many things. Like, yeah, th- this is a multi... Like, I'm, I'm not very... I'm not going to sit up here like, if you made a... Like, you could make a case for other rappers being able to have this spot over him. Right. Yeah. On the other hand, you could also make a very good case for why he should have it. And I want to point out something that um, uh, Blurtish said earlier. Uh, I know, uh, and and this is something that live action animation and I talk about on a regular basis. Right. Uh, 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 WrestleMania 40 happened this year. One of the greatest WrestleMania main events to happen in the modern era, right? It was a fantastic night one, night two, played like they, it was exceptional storytelling that culminated in Cody Rhodes winning the championship, finishing the story. It was just great the way they put it all together, right? At the Super Bowl, Lil Wayne, you know, performed. I mean, it's not the Super Bowl. He, uh, at WrestleMania, Lil yeah. Wayne performed. And he came out uh, with Jey Uso. He did, he did a Millie first, and then he yeah. came out and then introduced Jey Uso. And it was terrible. It was fucking terrible. <laughs> like, 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 it was objectively awful. And like, not only was the performance terrible, but the match Jay Uso had was terrible. Okay. Oh wow. It was the worst part of WrestleMania 40 was all was was that whole thing from the moment from the moment that shit started with Uso. No, it started with a milli, a milli, a milli, a milli, a milli, a milli. <laughs> and then. Lil Wayne did a half a verse from Lil from a Millie and then introduced Jay Uso and then while Jay Uso's theme song is playing, he's kinda rapping on top. It's weird. It was just weird. All right. Shit. Yeah, it was it was just so like people being like, Oh, Wayne should get this. I'm like, I've seen Lil Wayne live before. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> just saying. And like I said, and honestly the person that makes the most sense would be Kanye West. And if he wasn't like a raging anti Semite right now, he would be doing that show. Yeah, you know yeah. Kanye West. Kanye West is objectively the best hip hop performer to like right now, right? He's got right, the most yeah. hits. Yeah. He puts on the best show. Yeah, right. Yeah, and also he hates the Jews because David uh, Pete Davidson fucked his wife. Yeah, 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 and uh, and Pete Davidson's got a much bigger dick than his. That's the mm-hmm. other reason he hates Pete Davidson. Thank you for watching this episode of Hannibal and Monty. If you watch the video above me, if you pause it at the right time, Hannibal unmasks himself. What? No, 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 I did not agree to that. No, if you you click on the video above me, you get a secret link embedded to Monty's OnlyFans page. No, no, well, it doesn't exist. Did you make OnlyFans for me? It does exist, and you can see the link, but only when you click on this video above me. Unmasked Hannibal, right there. Right there. Oh, Monty, Email me, and Monty, I'll tell you the timestamp. Monty's OnlyFans, and he sits on cakes in the nude. <laughs>